Do you hate budgeting? I hate budgeting. Here's why and what I'm doing about it. My name is Dallin Wardrop. This is Creating Cash Flow, where I focus on all things personal finances, investing, and trying to make some passive income so we can have our money working for us rather than us working for our money. Managing a budget and tracking expenses takes a lot of time. You have to verify every credit card charge, verify refunds, and make sure everything ties out. And when it doesn't, it takes even more time because you have to then go and call Amazon or whoever didn't issue that refund properly. Wait on hold with customer service for literally hours sometimes just to go and say, hey, you, you didn't refund me the full amount. And even if that full amount is just like two or three bucks, it's still kind of the principle. You know, the big guys can't take advantage of us, of us little guys. But just to prove that principle right, uh, it takes forever. And sometimes it's more than two or three dollars. If you actually go through all of your credit card charges, and actually track everything, you'll notice that it, things just don't line up and they don't line up correctly and you will take so much time tracking those down and trying to make them right. Next is just general budgeting complications. Managing and tracking all of my income and spend has not been simple. I'm not an accountant, but I'm supposed to do my taxes, know where my money's going, and have solid investments for the future. This at best is overwhelming and overall as you tackle it every week or every month it's just it's just so complicated. Even if you start out, I started out with a very basic spreadsheet of money in, money out. But then you start having to account for uh, retirement accounts, HSAs, all of these different things, refunds that are pending for longer than 30 days. Just so many things that come into play that make this extremely complicated. And if you're like me, which I'm guessing you are watching this video, it's also more complicated because you're renting a car on Turo or you have different side hustles that you have to know how to work those in to everything that you're doing with your tax strategy for the year and just general, just, it just gets so complicated. I can't tell you how many frustrating nights I have had just trying to figure out my finances for the last 30 days. I'm, I'm not even talking the past year, two years. I'm just saying the last 30 days. Finally, if you do manage to find the time to do the budgeting and then you work through all of the complications to a point that you at least feel good about where you stand, it is so exposing. And that's the third reason why I hate budgeting. It's so exposing. It feels like the answer every time I do finances is you need to make more money. If you feel like you're in that same boat, hit that like button. It is a painful place to be in. It's painful. Even as you get, as you start making more money, and even if you're saving more money, life just naturally gets more expensive, or at least it has for me, a bump in rent here, a bump in food prices there. It just, everything seems to be getting more and more expensive. And so no matter how much money you earn, it seems that the budget always comes out to make more money. So here is what I'm doing about it and the purpose of this video. I'm finally, I'm finally ditching the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet that where I got started that was so simple and so innocent and so helpful has just become, it's too much. Uh, it's too much work. It makes me never want to budget again. It makes me hate everything about money. And so I'm ditching the spreadsheet in 2024 and I am trying out YNAB. So that felt like it was gonna be a sales pitch about YNAB. This video is not sponsored, but I am looking for a tool that can automate my credit card tracking charges and kind of just put everything in one place. And based on my research, it looks like YNAB might be my solution. Unfortunately, it's not free. Somehow I did get a six month free trial so I can put everything in there, see how it's going. But pretty much with a free trial, if you take, if I am taking the time to put everything over in YNAB, 
unless it sucks, unless it sucks and it's painful and it still takes a lot of time and it's still complicated and it's still exposing, but because this video isn't sponsored or anything, I will be back to leave a full in-depth review of how YNAB is going, the pros and the cons. So if you are looking for a better solution to manage, track, and budget your money, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Maybe don't make any moves immediately. Wait for me to go through the learning process. Find out if it is a cool tool or not. I'm hoping that it is, because uh, I've already spent hours of work, including watching YNAB webinars on how it works and all of that, which is actually pretty cool that they have webinars training you how, how to do it. But uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, follow the journey. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, again, be sure to subscribe so that uh, you can get the follow-up story on how things are going for me on YNAB.